Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aries their monthly love read. Aries, this is for April 2023. Um, I use the time frames quite loosely. Whenever you see this video is when it's meant for you to see. The videos are timeless. The videos, the, the videos are timeless. Um, they're also general, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like um, this read is way off base. Then go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unfamiliar with what your moon and your rising signs are, I do have a link in the description box below to get you that information. Um, it's I'm not associated with the website. It's just one of the free astrological websites to get your sign information. Um, there's also a link in the description box to get you to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. I think. Thank you for coming to my channel. Let's get into your read. Um, we are going to be using the Love and Romance Journey Deck from Queen Sugar Tarot to get some more information as well as the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards. Um, we're going to get some message cards from the Hermit Tarot Channel Love Messages and Love Vibe cards from King of Aloha, as well as finishing off the read with the New Orleans Oracle Deck card. Aries, woo! Look at here. Um, we have the Devil and we have the Strength card. You know, I feel like the devil being on the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is going to be quite an intense connection for you. Um, potentially could be with a Leo. Could be Capricorn Leo energy. Maybe someone has some of those signs or one of those signs or both of those signs in their chart. But I definitely feel like um, this is going to be quite an intense connection for you. I do feel like it might call for strength and courage as well um, on somebody's part. could be your person's part. But I definitely think like, um, so the, the, the devil energy, a lot of people think this is a really negative card, but it's usually like, you can see this guy, he's got like a marionette strings for this person um, who looks like they're distressed, like their head's down and they're covering their head up. But I feel like the devil is kind of like an obsessive kind of thought process, um, which sometimes can be very detrimental, but in other situations it can be just like really intense chemistry. So I'm just going to kind of leave that. We'll see what other cards pop out, but I feel like um, this could either be like destructive overthinking kind of tendencies. I'm not really getting that though from from the cards here. So I feel like this is potentially more of a obsessive kind of behavior in terms of thinking about a person, wanting to be with a person, um, not necessarily a detrimental energy. But let's let's see, because there's some. Let's just see, <laughs> Aries, you're showing up. Um, I don't know if you're going through a legal situation or perhaps you've been recently divorced or you are going through a divorce, but um, regardless, this is kind of like a court kind of card to me, like a justice card. So I feel like justice is, is coming. Oh, well, that's what the actual card is called. Um, if you are in a legal situation, I feel like it'll end up in your favor. Um, or you're just kind of finding balance within your life. So you could have gone through some sort of change and you're finding some balance in your life. You are showing up as the fire sign that you are, fiery, sexy, passionate, flirty energy. I feel like you're really fun to be around. You have a great sense of humor. You do have some um, passionate kind of tendencies. You bring passion. You show passion. People feel passion for you. Um, but in terms of a commitment, you are kind of not rushing for forward. <laughs> Um, which is interesting. You're at this slow and steady pace. It's interesting because the chariot cards in the connection. I'll explain in a second. But you're moving forward very slowly, slow and steady. You are committed. You are loyal. You are grounded. Um, but you are not rushing towards the connection. You're kind of really taking your time in this situation. Part of the reason I feel like that might be reflecting your person's energy because we have your person showing up. I said, I just talked like in the middle of my thought process. I think that this way that you're moving is impacting how your person is moving. That's part of the reason why they're moving the way they are. Um, so your person showing up as someone who is kind of juggling. I feel like they're imbalanced, imbalanced, not in balance, but I am imbalanced. Um, 
they are struggling to find a balance. And I don't know if this is in their life in general or like maybe they work too much and they don't have enough time for play. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what this imbalance is, but they are like kind of juggling. Um, uh, I kind of feel like it's potentially even related to your lack of movement. So they might feel like this connection is imbalanced. Um, and they're not sure what the heck is happening between the two of you. I do feel like they're kind of contemplating walking away from a situation or walking away from this feeling of imbalance. So, you know, we could take it a couple of ways. They could be contemplating walking away from you, Aries, or they could be contemplating walking away from this imbalance and figuring out ways to fix this situation to get themselves aligned with some balance with some stability in their lives. But I kind of get the vibe. I don't know why this is just more of an intuitive kind of thing is the, the how slow and cautious you are is kind of creating them to feel like I'm not sure where Aries really stands with me. Um, I'm contemplating walking away because I don't feel like this is a balanced situation. I feel like I have a lot more love than Aries does um, because Aries isn't showing up with any cups. <laughs> and this person is showing up as the Ace of Cups. This person, I'm sorry, I'm such a weirdo. Like my chin lined up with her chin. Um, <laughs> um, this person is showing up with the Ace of Cups. This person is showing up with overflowing love. This person is showing up with true love. Um, this person is definitely showing up in a loving energy. They have an overflowing cup of love to offer to you, Aries. But I feel like, um, You know what, maybe it's them that's doing this thinking, this obsessive thinking, and they're really just unclear where they stand. I feel like the connection's interesting. We have two threes, and then we have the chariot card, which is like number seven, but uh, the first card that came out is the three of swords. So this is like loss, grief, sadness. I feel like um, in this connection, I almost really just feel like your person is not sure where you stand. So you might be balanced. You might be a lot of fun to be around. You might have that loyal tendency, you committed tendencies, but there's no cups here. There's no love here. There's no showing love here. Um, you may feel it. You may know that you're grounded and stable and loyal. You may be vocalizing um, that you are looking for a long-term commitment, but I feel like this person is conflicted and they're not sure if you have love for them. And I feel like they have love for you. So maybe this bottom of the deck energy is much more your person needs to be strong and courageous because they have all these negative thoughts because you're not really showing up in love. You're just showing up as a fun time right now. Um, and I think that's creating some sadness and some heartbreak. Not for you, but for them. Um, we also have the three of pentacles. So in this connection, this is my like team building kind of card, right? This uh, connection, you two can be teammates. Like you can build a team together. You can build, you can grow, you can, um, I can't think of the word I want to use. I think my brain is on sleep mode today. You can build and grow and expand as a family, as a unit, as a couple, as potential work mates. Um, but I feel like this person and you are compatible. Like, I feel like this is a situation in which this person's going to be like, Hey, I want to be on your team. I want to be a team player with you. Let's be part of this team. Let's make our dreams come true. Um, and I do see action taking place. So the, the chariot card is like a choice, right? We have a light horse and a dark horse and the chariot is moving forward. So I do feel like, um, things will be moving forward. Um, you know, I did this for one other person. I'm going to do this for you too. I'm going to pull a couple of cards. I'm going to put the devil in the, the strength card to the side, but I'm going to pull a couple more cards about the outcome after this chariot card. So after movement starts to go forward, what does Aries have to look forward to in love? So this might be beyond the realm of like April kind of information, right? I kind of feel like it's going to be a little bit more of the same. 
And I think, I think Aries, like here you're showing up again as this queen of wands energy, right? Fun, flirty, sexy, so fun to be around. Great sense of humor, great energy. This person loves your energy. I think you guys are going to be working on getting to know one another. Um, this is often my um, social media kind of stalking card, but the real definition of this card is like gaining knowledge and information. So I think you will be getting to know each other in a very fun fashion. Um, I think this person is still going to be struggling with, do they love me? Does Aries love me? I think they're feeling like they already know that they have love for you. And they're just not 100% feeling love. So this is kind of like letting go and letting God. I feel like they will surrender to what is and kind of let go and let God. They'll surrender to the pause. They will kind of maybe not do, move. Like they might be contemplating, like I said, walking away from a situation or moving on to calmer waters. But I feel like they're going to kind of not make a choice to move away from you. I think they're... Um, once things start to move forward, they're going to still hang in there is kind of the vibe I get. Um, because you are so magnetic, because you are so fun to be around, because they do have love for you. So my advice, um, Aries, is if you know, if this is really resonating with you, be careful. If you don't have love for this person, don't mess with their heart. Um, I, think you, I think you have good intentions. I think you potentially will fall in love with them or will love them or do love them, but right now you're not really showing that. All right, let's get some, uh, let, maybe we'll get some more information with the Love and Romance Journey Hearts from Queen Sugar Tarot for Aries' read. Self-love, yeah, I feel like, I feel like you're very good at self-love, Aries. <laughs> um, longing and child. We do have caution on the bottom of the deck, so just make sure you're treating people the way you want to be treated, Aries. That's all I'm going to say to you. I don't think you're bad. I just think you're maybe not necessarily looking to buckle down in a love situation. But we have self-love, um, we have longing, and then we have child. So you, you or they could be longing for a child. Like This could be the difference of this person is in love, ready to commit, ready to move forward. They want to get married. They want to have children. And you might be like, eee, I just got out of a situation. I am not looking to jump into the fire right now. I'm just moving slow and steady to see what happens. I'm going to be having fun. Um, we can have fun and get to know one another. But I'm focused a little bit more on myself right now, which is totally fine, Aries. Just be honest, right? Um, you could potentially kind of maybe be slow because you have children that your is your primary focus. Your person could also be juggling like being a single parent. But I, I definitely think there's um, intense, passionate connections. I feel like um, intimately you guys, or maybe just sexually, you guys are extremely compatible. But I feel like there's also longing from this person that they want more than what you're giving them at the moment. Which I'm not saying you should. I don't think you should give them anything that you don't feel that you should give them. I just want you to be honest with them and yourself. All right, let's get some uh, Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards. And that's just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. Maybe I'm just going to change everything I just said, Aries, third party. So maybe you have multiple suitors. Maybe this is a toxic love situation. <laughs> On the fence, no decision has been made, and look for signs. Yeah, I feel like, Aries, you were just in this, like, um, this impasse. Um, you're figuring out what it is that you want. Potentially, you have multiple suitors. Potentially, you don't want to settle down just yet, um, but that might be your end goal, right? You're on the fence. No decision has been made about this situation, and um, maybe you're looking for signs. Like, you're like, I need to figure this out myself, which is totally fine. Like I said, just be honest. The bottom of the deck, we have planning uh, planning ahead, and then we have divine timing is aligned. So I feel like this will all play out in divine time, so don't push it. Don't push it. Don't uh, make something that it's not. Um, this is also showing, like, a pregnant person, so pregnancy could be um, coming. So if you don't want to get pregnant with someone or you don't want to make someone pregnant, then be careful. 
All right, the Hermit Tarot Channel love messages, or that could be a, a very big sign, perhaps. <laughs> Not that I think you need to get married if someone's pregnant with all right, the Hermit Tarot Channel love messages. This is a judgment-free zone, Aries. I really, it, it, you got to do what you're, what you need to do. We have six. I am absolutely in love with you. I have never imagined so much perfection. And do you even care? Sometimes I wonder if you care. Yes. Okay. So this is like, I think this person. I'm just gonna be like, check out the numbers. We have six and nine, and then we have thirteen here. Um, but. This person, I feel like they're absolutely in love with you. They feel like you are so perfect. They never imagined anything so perfect. Like, Aries, you're their person in their mind. But then they're like, do you even care? Sometimes I wonder if you even care. <laughs> um, and I think, Aries, is because you're just kind of focusing on yourself. I feel like maybe you just did come on a, div a, a divorce situation. So you're just trying to get your life pulled together. Interesting. Let's get a couple of love vibe cards from King of Aloha for Aries and their person. This could be messages between you and them. This could be something just that resonates with you. Like you might have said it to a person in the past or they might have said something to you. Um, tough. This is tough. Um, I don't care what other people think I want you. I feel like that's your person's message. And then we have, I'm pushing you away because I'm pursuing pursuing other connections. I think that might be your energy, Aries. And I can't give you what you want or need. I feel like that is your potential energy. However, roles can be reversed. So we'll, we'll just leave it. All right, Aries, we're going to finish off your read with a New Orleans Oracle deck card. What Oracle does Aries need to hear or see? Learning, number 21. I'll show you the card in a second. All right. Forgive my errors in reading as we start. Here we go. Um, the more you know, the more you realize how much there is left to learn. You are currently in a learning and growth cycle that will lead you in the direction you desire. Yes, that makes sense to me. During this time, you'll be more aware of patterns and synchronicities especially within yourself, because you're doing that self-care, right? Although you might be tempted to tell yourself you already know, there's a difference between understanding something on an intellectual level and understanding something on an emotional or an intuitive one. There are many times that knowing something intellectually gets confused with truly getting it. To understand something in its entirety, it is necessary to have both a willingness to process and acceptance at every level. It is okay to feel like you're repeating certain experiences or emotions. It is through this process that you gain more clarity and healing. It is important to be patient with yourself and others during this process by stepping back and taking an objective approach when assessing all, I'm sorry. It is important to be patient with yourself and others during this process by stepping back and taking an objective approach when assessing all different aspects of your life. Yeah, I feel like you're learning. I feel like you're growing. I feel like you've come out of a situation that's been difficult. Um, and I think someone's fallen head over heels for you. So I think you just need to figure out how to balance that situation for them just by me. May and maybe you can't, but um, I think just honesty is the best policy. And if you tell them the honest truth and they still want to stay there, then that's up to them. Um, all right. That concludes your reads, Aries, your read Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until the next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.